Welcome back to TMZ Live. To Paul and Victoria. Hi. Hey, Great guys. to see Bye. you. And thank you. Thank you for writing this book. So uh, thanks so much for having us. Paul, you must be so proud. Your daughter is an author. She's doing good things. I mean, this must be great for you. Harvey, there's a word, there's an Italian word I, called quell. I'm quelling. That's uh, not that's that's, that's know, Yiddish, yeah, dude. That's, that's a Yiddish. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I knew. I knew Come it was on. something. <laughs> anyway, you know, you guys caught Victoria and me one time getting out of a car uh, in front of Craig's restaurant, and I said, You'll be hearing. From this girl, and and here is the day. I couldn't be more thrilled and proud of her because, look, she has devoted her life to to dog rescue, and and in the process has become a real expert on dogs, their health, uh, both emotional and physical, and uh, she's easy on the eyes too. So <laughs> what more? Dad. So know. Victoria, tell us, <laughs> tell us about the organization that you started, and then we'll get yeah. to get to the book. So these two puppies I have are part of the organization. They're actually my foster puppies and they're available for adoption through my rescue, which my dad and I are both representing. We're wearing matching t-shirts here. It's called Pup Culture Rescue, very fitting after my book um, and sort of this whole movement we have going of the culture behind dog ownership about incorporating a dog into your life and how much um, it really enhances it. And yeah, you're right. It's a huge topic right now. Shelters are super crowded. Um, but during the pandemic, we adopted out so, so many dogs and there are so many more looking for homes, right, buddy? <laughs> so Victoria, you, what you mentioned about, about shelters, I really wish, uh, that your book had come out before the pandemic and that people could really understand the importance, not only of adopting dogs, but what dogs can bring to your family. Um, because hopefully if they had done that, then maybe we wouldn't have the shelters overrun now, but better late right. than never. So tell us but what, now what can... we're having the problem of people returning their dogs right. after the pandemic, after they're starting to resume to normal life. And that's part of why the shelters are so crowded. So we have to be committed and know that when you adopt a dog, it's a lifelong commitment, at least for their life. And you can't just drop it off at a shelter and pretend it never happened. Um, so it's still just as important as ever. And it's going to continue to be important until everyone starts spaying and neutering their dogs. So we don't have, like, my house, a bunch of puppies everywhere. I want to zero in on something. I I've been very active in this area for many, many decades, actually. And all I have are rescues. And I think what people need to really understand, I don't know how you feel about it, I'm gonna just put it out there what I think, which is when you rescue a dog from a shelter or from bad circumstances, I believe they never forget. And I've always Absolutely. felt like every one of my dogs that I've ever rescued has, I, I feel it, every interaction I have with them, that they appreciate it, they love you in, in, in ways that I, I think a dog that never goes through that doesn't because they can't process it. And I think yeah. that's a special thing about rescues. Definitely. It's an experience unlike anything else when you take a dog that's been through so much, even as a puppy, they've already been so through so much. Yep. My puppies, these guys came to me at one week and they were found in a ditch and several of their siblings had passed away from being too cold overnight mm. and mom dug this ditch and tried to bury them and keep them warm. So they even too in, appreciate a nice warm, cozy bed. And it's just the most amazing experience. It's so rewarding and the bond is so much stronger. Well, the organization is obviously doing incredible work. Congratulations on this book. It is everyone, if, you so are, if you're shopping for a gift, the book, is not only a great gift, but it is... It inspires it, people who are looking for people, a dog. And it's valuable information for people if you want to have a dog. And if you're thinking about getting a dog and you're wondering about rescues, buy this book yeah. because you're going to learn something about these dogs and what it means to them and how it affects you. And I, I think it's going to open your eyes if you don't know much about it. Thank Man. you guys so much. Say bye-bye. Yeah, just thank I can't add anything to that. Except on the fun side, there's celebrity contributions to, to the book. David Letterman, 
uh, wrote a piece about his dog and how he rescued him. Glenn yeah, Close, Dan Levy. Dan Le- Dan, yeah, Stan Levy and Vanessa Williams. And Tony Bennett, a sketch of his dog. Oh, appears wow. In the book. wow. He's a dog that's lover, so too. Amazing. Yeah, so that's, it's a lot of fun. What you're doing is great. I this love this. Boy, thanks for Thank having you us. Thank you both. Thank you guys so much. Love you both. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you both.